The only thing that remains constant is change, and the New York City skyline is no exception. Current architectural marvels, such as the World Trade Center and the gleaming blue 157, will appear insignificant in comparison to the buildings that will rise above them in the next 15 years. In this video, we'll discuss New York's tallest skyscrapers and how it will change the city's skyline by 2030. 7. The Spiral The Spiral, a new skyscraper in Hudson Yards designed by the Danish architectural company Bjark & Gels Group and modeled after a double helix, has already broken ground, rising two feet every four days in early 2018. As work progressed, the glassy tower took on the appearance of a snake riding upward into New York City's skyline. Is it a conversation start? In a spiral, a succession of terraces full with mature trees and lush gardens ascend at the property. When viewed from a distance, the contrast of silver and green gives the impression of a snake's tail coiled around the structure, which is totally awesome. The spiral, like 50 Hudson Yards, intends to draw famous enterprises to its exquisite interiors, tempting the cream de la cream with a posh clubhouse on the 66th level and a world-class restaurant deserving of a few Michelin stars. 6. 50 Hudson Yards 50 Hudson Yards is currently under construction, with a height of 1,011 feet and a completion date of 2022. When the red ribbon is cut, this cloud piercer will be the city's fourth largest commercial tower, encompassing an entire city block. With its amenities, rich sky lobbies, landscape terraces, and direct access to the 7 subway, 50 Hudson Yards wants to attract some heavy hitters in terms of tenants. Not that it needs to beg. The property's attractive features have already attracted Fortune 500 businesses, who have already snatched up some major square feet ahead of its completion. In fact, BlackRock, a major global financial business, will lease 1 million square feet of retail space over 15 stories, while Meta, formerly known as Facebook, will lease 1.2 million square feet over 22 floors. 5. 270 Park Avenue J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the United States, paid $208 million to the owners of Grand Central Station, TF Cornerstone, and MSD Capital after a bold effort to obtain air rights over Park Avenue and 46th Street, not to mention a sizable donation to St. Bartholomew's Episcopal Church, affectionately known as St. Bart's. What is the justification for such exorbitant spending? To reach the highest point in Midtown East, surpassing well-known structures like the Chrysler Building and One Vanderbilt, 270 Park Avenue, unlike the other buildings on this list, was built on the site of a historic train yard in the city, that is, Hudson Yards. This modest property in the shape of a clean Jenga tower, once known as the Union Carbide Building, formerly stood at 708 feet. It was the world's tallest voluntarily demolished building in 2018, demolished to make room for a new skyscraper that will be New York City's second tallest commercial building after one World Trade Center. But only if 270 Park Avenue reaches a height of 1,425 feet. According to some estimates, J.P. Morgan's new headquarters will reach a height of 1,388 feet, making it the city's sixth tallest structure. 4. The Calb Avenue Brooklyn's counterpart to Manhattan's Ike skyline is 9 to Calb Avenue. Indeed, the spotlight may very well shift in the direction of this future skyscraper. 9 to Calb, popularly known as the Brooklyn Tower, is a building in downtown Brooklyn near Fort Green Park that looks like something out of a Marvel Studios depiction of a scar. This is an allusion to a towering skyscraper with jagged edges glittery in gold, as seen in Thor and its sequels. 9 to Calb, set to open in 2022, will be Brooklyn's tallest building, combining high-end rentals and luxury residences. The project includes the historic Short Dime Savings Bank, which is located at the bottom of the land. The bank is a historic building with lovely interiors that might be used as shop space or a lobby for future occupants. 3. World Trade Center 2. World Trade Center, with a planned height of 1,270 feet just below the clouds, will be one of New York City's most famous skyscrapers, forever changing Lower Manhattan's distinctive cityscape. However, development has slowed as a shortage of new tenants has slowed the building's progress. Despite the delay, Silverstein Properties, the developer of Two World Trade Center is counting on the visionary architectural firm Dark and Gels Group, the same group that developed the spiral, to create a spectacular masterpiece that stands out from the rest of the neighborhood. It's a tough order, but one that B.I.G. is more than capable of meeting. After all, the Danish firm designed the world's tallest residential structure, the 1,550-foot Central Park Tower, which has a reputation for being the world's most expensive residential building, with more than 20 of its 179 condo units, costing more than $60 million 
$1,000 each. 2. Central Park Tower Central Park Tower, a 1,550-foot residential super tall in Midtown. And number 2 on our 2030 New York skyscraper countdown is nearing completion. The 98-story tower, known as 217 West 57th Street, was designed by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill and developed by Extel. It is the world's tallest residential building and the tallest structure in New York by roof height. Above a Nordstrom retail platform, bound by West 57th and West 58th Streets, Broadway, and 7th Avenue, the property provides 179 units marketed by Corcoran Sunshine. The skyline of Midtown is still dominated by the tower. A chamfered corner runs the length of the main massing, catching the golden hour illumination all the way up to the mechanical crown, which continues beyond the final setback and houses New York City's highest private outdoor deck. 1. 1 Vanderbilt The super tall skyscraper 1 Vanderbilt towers above Midtown east from its location, only next to Grand Central Terminal, is taller than the Chrysler Building, as gleaming as the New World Trade, and was completed by 2020. 1 Vanderbilt, including the roof ornament, rose to a whopping 1,500 feet above street level, according to architect Cone Pedersen Fox. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.